Okay, now let's set up feedback on our mute button so that when the mute button is pressed and the command is sent, the box will send back information saying that the state of the mute button is now muted. So we want our mute button to reflect that by showing the red mute button, the active state. So remember, if we double click on the mute button, we'll see that we have an inactive state and we also have an active state. Now the way we get this to occur is we have what's called the digital join number. This digital join number is currently set to zero. Also, we can simulate feedback, which is nice if you want to do a presentation and you're not connected to a box, you can implement this. So let's take a look at the feedback that's imp implemented for the mute button. If we come over and we take a look at input mute status, let's double click on that. And if we look here, and we'll get into how all this works in another video, However, if we look at the command, if we look at the join number, it's currently number 10. So let's change our join number to number 10 on our button. Okay, click OK. You'll see the join number change to 10 here. Now what we can do is we can go to Save. Let's go to File, Upload Service and click on Start. Make sure the iPad is set to 192.168.1.4 on port 8019 and then click on your CFI Viewer app after setting it up and here's what that should look like. Okay, now click on CFI Viewer app and you'll notice the activity light blinked and it gave you the connection ID of the device and you should now have your button up and if we press it you have feedback on your button. We now have control from the iPad of the Aspen device with true feedback from Aspen. Congratulations!